So we're going to go through the paper and see what the paper is asking us to do. So this is page two. It says mechanical engineering drawing. This paper has two sections. Section one, assembly drawing, and section two, sketch and design, or 3D solid. So you have three options, right? So section one, you do assembly drawing, and in section two, you do either a sketch and design or a 3D solid model design drawing. Now, sketch and drawing in CAD is basically drawing in CAD, but you're not given any specific measurements, so you just draw it and represent it how it would look without a measurement. You use your discretion and your mind and proportionality skills to draw up something that would look like the sketch that they're asking for. For the 3D solid model, they usually give you dimension. This is usually either isometric drawing from an orthographic or a author, they give you the orthographic and expect you to produce a 3D like a isometric or oblique. Usually isometric or oblique. So you get two views, you produce a oblique or isometric from it. Uh -huh. So it says answer one question from section one. So the assembly drawing, if you get two options, you just answer one of them. So find the solution for one, the one that best appeals to you. And one question from section two. So section two, you get two options as well, sketch and design plus the 3D solid model. And you choose which one. So you only do two drawings. Right. Just like you're marking some paper, two drawings. Candidates may use either a traditional method or computer aid drawing. Well, you don't have an option. Computer aided drawing it is. So section one, assembly drawing. It says here, and so one question. Do not spend more than two and a half hours on this section. When at two, hundred, two hours and forty minutes, you do not spend more than two hours on this section. And then use the next forty minutes to do the sketch and design. And then you have to remember, say, so you have to factor in time for your title block, for your type, for your writer lettering and things like that. All these details, draw your projection symbol. So all them things, they fade up on top of your mind. So make sure so you have, because you get grade for every single thing. So don't spend the time and try to solve the problem. And don't put in scale and title and your title block and them simple little things that we are supposed to do. So we'll go through this and then we'll go through the other questions in a while. Alright.